so hello everyone in this video i'll be discussing what are semantic elements so let's understand this so what are semantic elements so semantic elements are elements with a meaning so basically these elements are used uh, for creating layouts in the last video i talked about the layout what is a layout and how do we use semantic elements in that so a semantic element clearly describes its meaning to both the browser and the developer for example if you want to create a top section so we'll be using a header tag or a header semantic element so it tells that header means which comes at the head or at the top section what is a head it is the top area of our body right so that's why it generates or it uh, tells the meaning to the browser as well as to the developer that it is the top part of a page or a content so basically uh, it describes what it does so that's why we use semantic because it is it has a more descriptive way uh, for in developer community or to the browser uh, if somebody is using semantic elements so we'll be able to understand his code easily because he's using semantic elements which are self-explained or which describes themselves very easily so examples of non-semantic elements are uh, div and span because sometimes you might know that uh, in bigger websites or in, in bigger pages we always use div tag and the span tags so for creating everything we we are using div and span so that doesn't describe the meaning why we have used div in here or why we have used span here so basically if you are creating uh, a navigation let's say so you'll be using div tag as a container right but that div tag is fine for like for executing the code or for showing the web page it is fine but it is not more descriptive than a nav tag nav tag is a semantic element so if you use nav tag there instead of uh, using div tag which is a non semantic element so that will be more descriptive so if you use uh, semantic elements that will describe your code actually so that's why we use or uh, it is suggested to use semantic elements so examples of uh, semantic elements are form table article clearly it uh, defines its content so many websites contain HTML code like dev it has an ID of nav and then there is a header then there is a ID of footer then we have the content inside their dev but instead of using that we use these uh, these tags or these semantic elements actually so article is the which uses uh, which we use for uh, showing the large content or uh, which is just like blog post or any large content we want to show then we have an aside tag which we use for uh, showing the content on the right or a left side direction or in a right side direction details are there details are used for showing the details of uh, a particular element it basically creates a one uh, collapse kind of thing that shows the details of a particular element then we have fig caption figure all these things are there but we'll be understanding all of them so basically section tag section tag is used for creating a section of a document in a document basically so according to w3 HTML documentation a section is a thematic group of content typically with a heading so if it has a heading and a paragraph if you want to wrap them in a uh, common container then you will not be using a div tag normally because uh, we have the habit of using div tag for a container basically but not always if it is a section let's say so you will be using a section tag so if you want to create or if it is telling you the different information or if it is talking about a different topic then you will be using section tag to like define it as a section a web page could normally be split into sections for introduction content and contact information so basically uh, multiple types of sections can be there let's say we have a introductions introduction section in a web page then we have a content area or content section 
then we have a contacts information section we can also have uh, an about us section let's say so all these are the different information we are describing in section tags uh, then uh, there comes the article which is uh, which kinds of similar to uh, the section but it can be used for forum post blog post newspaper article it can be used for large data as well so it is basically it has an its its own sense or it is self contained you can say it is independent from the other page or from other content in the web page so it is basically different from the other content it is not related to that we can see that it has an example it is basically like the uh, section tag we have a section tag and then we have some headings in the paragraph similarly we have article tag and some heading and a paragraph then we have header tag as i told you that it is uh, used for showing the top content area or the things we want to show on the top just like the navigation or it can be any banner or something it can be anything so that we can show inside a header tag uh, you can see that header is used in the article as well so it is uh, like it is not suggested that uh, you should always use it outside the uh, article tag or, or a section tag we can use header tag in an article tag as well or in a section tag basically it describes a top area in any uh, section or in any web page so basically it is for that so you'll always use header tag so it these tags which i'm telling you these are just like divs so it it isn't any new thing just it will describe your code more that's why we are using semantic tags or semantic elements basically then we have a photo element uh, the footer element is used for showing the content on a bottom of a page and this uh, can contain authorship information copyright information contact information back to top link sitemap related documents all these things can be included there so basically it is used for uh, showing the different kind of information at the bottom basically it is used at the bottom so footer is for that so we can show all these information in a div as well but as i told you that we should use semantic elements which are more descriptive in nature so if somebody is using uh, semantic elements his code will be more descriptive so people will understand easily what that means what that footer means what that header means if we are using everywhere dev tags so we have to uh, like see the content inside that and then we have to understand okay that's header okay that's footer but by using these uh, tags or these semantic elements we can describe that this is the footer area or this is the footer information you don't have to worry uh, like this what is this div for Similarly, you can see the example. It can contain some content. Then we have a nav tag. If you want to show the links inside a page, then you will be using nav tag. It is basically used as a navigation links container. Uh, it is used at the top uh, majorly. So you can use it everywhere or anywhere you want. But if you want to show some links or navigation links, then you will be using this nav tag. Not always okay so if there are two links then you will not be using it uh, if there are multiple links for different pages then you will be using an app tag you can see and notice that not all links of a document should be inside a nav element the nav element is intended only for major block of navigation links uh, for example uh, if you are creating a side nav if you are showing the links in the footer if you are showing the links at the top or a, or in a header then you can use nav tags so you can see here uh, it has shown to us that uh, we have different links and we have wrapped them inside a nav tag so this is actually it is used so it contains a group of links you can say and then there is a side element or a side tag you can see here a side is basically uh, used for showing the content 
aside the section or a main content area so it is used uh, like this so it can be in the right direction as well as in the right left direction as well so it is used for that it is uh, used for showing the related information about a section or a content area so you can see it can uh, contain some heading and a paragraph just like the article and a section tag so it is just like that then we have a figure and a fig caption elements or figure and fig caption semantic elements figure and fig caption uh, describes the illustration diagrams photos code listings all these things will be inside figure tag so basically whatever the representation uh, you want to show in your web page it can be any illustration diagram photograph or anything that you can show in a figure tag and inside figure tag you can describe uh, about the uh, photo or a diagram by using this fig caption tag it is basically a label for that image so we use fig caption for showing the label and figure as a container for image and a fig uh, caption tag let me just show you the code example so here you can see uh, we have an image and after that we have this uh, fig caption label which is describing about the image that this image is uh, Tolly, Puglia, Italy, anything. And this is the image and both of them are contained inside a figure tag or figure semantic element. So this describes that this is a single figure element or this is a single figure that is describing about a single image or it can be an image or a diagram or any illustration as well you can use anything but make sure you use figure tag as a container and a fig caption tag to show the label beneath this image or above this image any way you want uh, this is just a label okay so so this is it for this video it is finished and we have completed our semantic elements i hope you got something thank you for watching Let's meet in the another one.